Greetings everyone, you're watching the channel Aviation Obsession. Let's rewind to late October 2011, when Boeing introduced the game-changing 787 Dreamliner with Japanese carrier All Nippon Airways. This bird wasn't your average plane, it was rocking some serious tech vibes. Picture this, a fuselage made mostly of composites, fuel-saving tricks up its wings with hybrid laminar flow control and a cockpit full of fancy electronic controls. The Dreamliner was like the cool kid in the aviation playground. Now here's the quirky part. Passengers love those electronic windows. No other plane can boast about having those. It's like the Dreamliner's way of saying, hey, I'm not your regular aircraft. But hold on, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. The Dreamliner has had its share of hiccups. From incidents to failures, and let's not forget the recent plot twist. Quality control issues. Yup, it's been a roller coaster. Considering Boeing's been in the business for ages, it's not shocking that they've been working on ironing out these wrinkles. Every masterpiece has its quirks, right? So, in this video, we are talking about five game-changing 787 improvements. We're diving into the nitty-gritty of its production and development. Buckle up, folks. It's about to get interesting. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for future videos. Without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Revamped Battery Fast forward a couple of years from its grand entrance and things got a bit heated. Onboard fires, all thanks to a lithium-ion battery hiccup. After three incidents, emergency landings and a few bumps and bruises, the Dreamliner had to cool its jets on the tarmac. But hold up, Boeing wasn't just lounging around. In no time, they whipped up a solution that made the FAA break into a happy dance. Imagine this, tighter screening of battery cells, tweaks for thermal and electrical vibes, and a snazzy enclosure to keep those fires at bay. Crisis averted and the Dreamliner was back in action. Number 2. Rolls-Royce's Engine Glow-Up Alright, let's talk about the 787's little hiccup in 2019. So, these beauties were grounded because of an engine drama, courtesy of Rolls-Royce and their Trent 1000 model. They even jazzed it up with the Trent 1010, promising better fuel burn than the older Package C. It was supposed to be the GENX's cool rival from General Electric. But plot twist. Rolls-Royce had to put on their superhero capes, fix the sulfidation issue in the intermediate pressure turbine blades, and redesign the high pressure turbine blades. To give them credit, Rolls-Royce played the hero and cleared the backlog of grounded 787s within a year. And get this, they did it smack in the middle of a pandemic and crazy travel restrictions worldwide. Talk about turning lemons into jet fuel flavored lemonade. Number three. Dreamliner's Wing Makeover So, March 2014 rolls around, and Boeing throws a curveball at us. Hairline cracks in their wide-body wonder, the Dreamliner. Not the news you'd throw a party for, right? But here's the lowdown. It didn't mess with the ones already cruising through the clouds. Now guess who swooped in like Superman? Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, the wizards behind the Dreamliner's carbon composite wings in Japan. They're the ones who spilled the tea to Boeing about the cracks. It turns out their manufacturing magic was a bit wonky, causing those pesky cracks in the shear ties on the 787 wing ribs. Boeing, being the fixer-uppers they are, spent a couple of weeks playing detective and inspecting those suspiciously cracked wings. The result? A tweak in the Japanese manufacturing process to keep those Dreamliners tip-top disaster dodged, and the wings were back to being as smooth as a pilot's landing on a calm day. Number 4. All New Titanium Parts Hold on to your seats, folks, because we're diving into the Dreamliner's material world. So, here's the scoop. 80% composites by volume, but only about half of that in weight. Now let's sprinkle in some fancy titanium. 15% to be precise, because why not add a little bling to those wings? Fast forward to 2017, and Boeing teamed up with Norse Titanium, the cool Norwegians, to revolutionize the titanium game. How you ask? 3D printing. Yep, they went all futuristic. 
saving a jaw-dropping $3 million per Dreamliner. Talk about printing money. Now, 3D printing isn't exactly a new kid on the block. GE, for example, slashed 300 engine parts down to just seven using this magical tech. But Boeing faced a hiccup with other titanium parts in one fuselage section. It turns out that a different supplier was the culprit. Boeing played detective, did an audit, and voila, problem solved. The Dreamliner's a mix of high-tech magic and a dash of mystery solving. And number five, commonality upgrade across Dreamliner family. So, aircraft manufacturers aim for that sweet commonality among their babies, making life easier for pilots and crew. You know, the whole work smarter, not harder vibe. Now check this out. Boeing's Dreamliner family, the 787-9 and Dash 10, decided to be the ultimate squad with a jaw-dropping 95% commonality. But the Dash 8, the original of the bunch, was a bit of the odd one out. No worries though. In 2018, Boeing went all matchmaker and tweaked the Dash 8's manufacturing game to be more like its siblings. The result? Now airlines can juggle the Dash 8, Dash 9, and Dash 10 without breaking a sweat. It's like having a trio of Dreamliner Amigos that just get along with each other. Smooth moves, Boeing! Now let's spill the tea on Boeing's early 787s. So, we've got these original Dreamliners, aka the terrible teens. Why the funky name? Well, it turns out they were the 10th to 20th Dreamliners ever built, and they had a bit of a rebellious phase. Back in the day, Boeing was still figuring things out, and these teens were part of the testing crew before getting their certification wings. Now they weren't perfect. Structural weaknesses where wings meet fuselage and all that jazz. To meet the rules and regulations, Boeing slapped on some custom reinforcements, making them a bit, let's say, heavier. Like six tons overweight, kinda heavy. Now the details get a bit fuzzy, but trustworthy sources mention their max takeoff weights, dancing around 220 tons. Some tech wizards on airliners.net spilled the beans on this juicy information. Fast forward, and newer Dreamliners are like, hey, we gained some weight. Now we're lifting off at almost 228 tons. So, there you have it. The Dreamliner's journey from the terrible teens to lighter, sleeker wings. What's your take on this Dreamliner evolution? Drop a comment and spill the aviation tea. And if you've enjoyed this journey through the Boeing 787 world, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell for more high-flying content.